Welcome back. This is our community resource section. My next guest is Mary Cobb, who's the director of the Kentucky Refugee Ministries. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. So tell me what you do. Well, um, Dr. Fox, I think a lot of people have been seeing, especially this past year on TV, refugee situations kind of erupting around the world. So for those who may not know, a refugee is someone who's been forcibly displaced from their home country due to persecution, war, violence, um, their ethnicity, their religion, for reasons about who they are. And so obviously we've been all been seeing this play out more than ever with Afghanistan and now Ukraine um, coming on. So refugees come from anywhere in the world. Um, when they make it through the process, which takes a very long time of vetting and screening and waiting, um, when the United States government lets them in, they assign them to offices like KRM, we're the only ones here in central Kentucky um, doing this, but there's a network around the country. And our job is really to accompany people as they arrive here and just kind of get them plugged into the community, get them up and running. Um, if I can just have you imagine or your viewers imagine, if you were airlifted tomorrow into Mozambique, assuming you don't speak Portuguese or maybe other local languages, what are the things you're gonna need right away? Where are you gonna live? How are you gonna get money? How will your kids get in school? How do you find transportation? Those are the things that we plug people into, um, using interpreters in their own languages, helping them find resources here to really start rebuilding their lives in a safe place. And, and so they end up here, you end up trying to find all those things you just mentioned to help That's the right. refugees out. That's right, so we rent an apartment or a house before people arrive. We're usually notified a couple weeks in advance. Um, we arrive at the airport with an interpreter who speaks their language. We've stocked the house with furniture. This is where the community donations come in. You know, if you can get here with one backpack or one suitcase, you're not gonna be able to bring your dishes and your furniture and you know, everything you need. So um, we'll get that set up, um, get some groceries stocked and then be at the airport to welcome them really from the first night they arrive here in Lexington. And that just doesn't happen by magic. It takes some work. And, it and, does. and if there are, do you, do you need, can people help? How can they participate? Or do you need volunteers? Do you need money? Tell me how the process works. My favorite question, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, we are a, a community driven agency. We're a homegrown Kentucky agency. We work with national partners and we receive a lot of federal funding that pays for you know, the, the big parts of these services. Um, this is not costing our community money to bring newcomers here. It's actually bringing in, in money to our community. But uh, as you know, things are expensive. Um, food stamps don't pay for diapers. There are costs you know, that that takes some time to get people up and running to, to learn enough English to get that first job. So community donations, whether it's money, whether it's you know somebody, a, a lot of times it'll be a youth club or an alumni group or your book club might do a donation drive for hygiene items. Um, that just helps us go that much further. So there are volunteer opportunities, donating opportunities, whether they're funds or items. Um, Everything you ever want to know is at our website, kyrm.org, and we are also hiring some staff positions if anybody's looking to really make a, a great change in their life and get into something really amazing like this work. Well, have you heard anything specifically about Ukraine refugees? I'm assuming you might, but anything now? Yeah, that's a, another great question. Um, I, I don't know if a lot of people know, but there's quite a large Ukrainian community here in central Kentucky already. Um, there are thousands of Ukrainians here, especially Jessamine County and some of the counties around Lexington. Um, we have a program where we've been resettling Ukrainians here already the past several years to reunite with family. Um, the ones who we have been able to resettle here are, are fleeing from religious persecution historically. Um, we don't know yet right now if a larger scale, you know, American um, Ukraine resettlement process will take place. That's really up to the State Department but we absolutely will welcome and stand ready to welcome any Ukrainians you know, allowed in at the federal level. We think that will not be super, super soon. It's not gonna be an airlift you know, situation, sure. um, but if the State Department does that, make that decision, we will be right there at the airport uh, ready to welcome. That's great, thank you for the work you do. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Kentucky Refugee Ministries. Thank you also for watching. Thanks to my guest. If you'd like to watch this episode or past episodes, you can go to Family Practice Associates website, Patient Education, Patient Resources, and the YouTube channel. Join us next month for more great information on family practice.